going to be able to hear me? Yeah, that's good. First part of your ritual is the wrist strokes. You're going to start high and high. And with the focus here, do we want gravity and rebound to do all the work? So, once I initiate the motion, gravity takes over and rebound lifts the stick, lifts my hand back up. I'm not lifting my hand, the stick is lifting it. Now, to tell you the truth, when I first started doing this, I had to engage the muscle a little bit to bring the hand back up. But once we get going, we just want that that throw down, because if I if I let go of the stick, look at how just look how fast it rebounds off the pad if I just let go of it. Boom. So when we're doing the wrist stroke, we want it to be the same. Okay, so that's your first step. Second step, we get into the stone killers. I like doing this with the kit like you have on the sheet. And notice the tip of the stick. I'm not going... I'm not prepping. The stick is where I want it. So if I, the stick height is this, that's where I start, that's where I end. So you go through all the eight uh, stone killers that way. Then you do your you do all your stretching. I like doing the stretch this way. And I do the stretch, do shoulders, I do all that stuff. So I do that for about five to six minutes, just working on that. Thing. Okay. Then you need to work on flams. Now with flams, you can do it with or without feet, but the idea is we. It's like the tips are connected, and we just go down to it. Don't stop the stick until it's in position. So I pretend the tips are connected and just go down. Just go down to it, down to it, down to it. And the way I like doing flams is I like doing the rhythm. I call it a rhythm pyramid. It's really not a pyramid, but I like subdivision. So I start out. One per beat. And then I start thinking, I do that, I'll do that for a minute. And then I start thinking triplets. One triplet, two triplet, one triplet, two triplet, one triplet. Second minute. Triplet, two triplet, one triplet. I do this for the second minute. And then the third minute. Eighth notes. When I get near that end of that minute, I start thinking one triplet, two triplet, one triplet, two triplet. Here's the fourth minute. And then I start thinking. fifth minute. <laughs> then double strokes. <clears throat> so with the double stroke we can do the same thing. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open. So the open, close stroke, start like you're going to do a wrist stroke, drop the hand, leave it down. Catch the stick with the tips of the fingers and when my hand's open like that I'm really only catching with middle finger and, and ring finger. And then I close the fingers and bend the hand back up. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Okay, now with that, I do the same kind of sequence. Once, once you get comfortable with that, open, close, open, close, open, close. I'll do that for a minute. And then start thinking triple, that one trip. One triplet, two triplet, one triplet, two triplet. You Notice how I'm not stopping the motion of the stick until it's ready to do the next thing. Do that. Do that for a minute and then. Uh,
five minutes doing double strokes. And the idea with the open close technique is so that we don't, when we do double strokes, we don't, it's not an accident. You listen to the difference, just letting it bounce. So just letting it bounce and just worrying about the beginning of it, which is easy to do. Now, if I get my fingers involved and actually do a mini version of the open close, because as we go faster, we'll minimize the motion. By using getting the fingers involved, we have more of that machine gun like insistence. Hear a different sound. Versus. Right, it's all kind of an accident. Here, I'm really controlling this thing. Okay. That's why you're the teacher. Now, <laughs> uh, after that, it might be good for you to revisit the stroke types, which is just full, full, down, down, tap, tap, up. And then your paradiddles and double paradiddles with accent paradiddles. Down, up, tap, tap, down, up, tap, tap, down, up, tap, tap. And notice no extra motion. I'm not prepping every stroke. I stop the stick where it needs to be. And then double paradiddles. Down, tap, tap, up, tap, tap, 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 double pair. I did do double pair. I did double pair. I did double pair. I did. Work on those, and then we can get into the new, the newest thing, which are the accent patterns. Accent pattern one we already figured out is down tap up tap down tap up tap. Same thing, down tap up tap down tap up. Number two, down up tap down tap tap up tap down up tap down tap. tap. Three down up tap down up tap full tap down up tap down up tap full tap down up tap number four down up tap down up tap down up tap down up tap full tap full tap down up tap down up tap down up tap down up tap Okay, so those are the four accent patterns. Now the variations for number one, I had down tap, up tap, down tap, up tap, down tap, up tap. Variation one, we place a flam where the accent is. So I'm going to play flam tap, up tap, flam tap, up tap. But you notice the basic, the basic look of it hasn't changed. Down tap, up tap, down tap, up tap, flam tap. Almost doesn't look any different with the flam. Right hand is still going down, up, down, up, without the flam. Almost looks no different, because I'm, I'm maximizing the uh, efficiency. Number two, down, up, tap, down, tap, tap, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, tap, tap, up, tap. tap. The first variation, add the flam. Flam, up, tap, flam, up, tap, flam, flam, up, flam, flam, up, flam, up. Sorry, flam, uh, flam, up, flam. Up, flam up, flam. Uh, I can't say it and play it right now. Flam up, flam up, flam up, flam up, flam up, flam up. Now, without the, without the flam, with the flam. Almost looks exactly the same. Okay, third one. Down, up, tap, down, up, tap, full, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, full, tap, and this one's written out for you below. Flam, 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 flam. So 
without the clamp. With the clamp. And then the last one. And then the last variation, we play the accent in between the accent, anything that's not accented, we play as a double. So number one, we have down, tap, up, tap, down, tap, up, tap. So I'm going to play stroke, stroke, double, 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 stroke, double, double, double. Down, tap, up, tap, down, tap. Again, the motion's not that much different. Number And that's what's written here at the bottom. This is a double stroke variation of accent pattern three. Last one. Now, the cool thing about controlling these, take it one step further, is we take, let's take a style like New Orleans. New Orleans second line. Kind of like that. That's just an example. Now, kind of, it's cool that way. But if we start slipping some flams where our accents are, and match all of the above. in there, a little, little red pepper, chimbala, yeah, okay, there's your ritual.